My name's Fran Perrin. I'm the founder and director of the Indigo Trust. We're a grant-making foundation that supports civic technology projects in sub-Saharan Africa. We've been lucky enough to fund my society over many years now, and more recently we've funded partnership work between my society and civic tech projects across sub-Saharan Africa. The exciting thing for Indigo was to see real local need and commitment and skill in many different African countries, but a desire to work with international partners like my society who had the experience, who tried these projects before. We wanted to fund both ends of the relationship to make it as equal as possible, but to allow the best skills from both sides to come through and give it the best chance of success. I'm excited by the potential of these projects in countries where improvement in transparency can make a massive difference to all the development outcomes. We at Indigo are quite a high-risk funder. We like to look at early-stage projects that have amazing potential but need time to prove that potential before they can graduate on to larger donors. So we concentrate on making small, fairly high-risk grants to civic tech projects that could one day go on and have a massive impact. What I look for in civic technology at the moment is not necessarily the most cutting edge or fashionable technologies, it's use of civic tech really applied to local context. So some of our projects are going to be best on feature phones, but aimed at communities who are already using that technology, but allowing them to access data in a particular way. We, are, we love open data projects, but where it's getting data to an audience that will really use it. My hope for civic tech is that it helps us reach the last mile of communities and countries where access to information is really crucial to empowering people to change their own lives. I'm really excited as well about where civic tech can improve philanthropy itself. I want philanthropy and grant making to get better by using the technologies we're hearing about at TicTech. I wanted to come to TicTech because I think it's the best concentration of practitioners, academics, thinkers in this field that I've come across anywhere. It's only halfway through the first day and I've already been inspired, had my thoughts provoked and I can't wait for the rest of it. Thank you.